Before working on fixing the trackpad issue, you may want to check out my other video on how to remove the base and the battery to gain access to the trackpad, which I would include down in the description below. Hi everyone, this is Sam K. I have here the 2015 Dell XPS 13 model number 9343. It's truly an amazing laptop with its infinity display to the carbon fiber palm rest. But for those of you who were unlucky enough to receive one with the trackpad defect where it seems loose or rattles, I'm not clicking on it, just tapping on it. This is clicking. So it just seems loose and it just bothers me. So if any one of you have this problem, I'm here to help. There is a way to fix this problem and it will last a very, very, very long time, if not forever. And let's get started. So the first step, of course, is to completely power down your computer. Then flip it over and remove the eight Torx screws that secure the bottom plate onto the laptop. And here you will need the Torx T5 size bits to remove them. After that, you're going to want to use a plastic wedge tool. Go around the edges and just wedge around here, noting that there is a speaker grill right here. Do not place the wedge into here, but instead, once this part's opened already, you want to go apply pressure on top and skip over this area and keep on going until all the way around there's another speaker grill right here that you don't want to damage and after that this should be removed like a piece of cake be sure to take your time and do not rush through this just be very patient use a plastic wedge tool because you do not want to scratch the plastic nor do you want to scratch the beautiful aluminum finish and in due time you'll successfully remove all the sides and be able to pop the back right off. Just be patient and bear with it and you can definitely do it. So once that's out of the way we have the trackpad right here. First step is to remove this ribbon by using the pry tool or just your fingernail, gently lift up on that black tab. Very gently, you can just be able to like lift it up. There we go. And once it's up, grab onto this blue plastic helper and pull it out. Once it's out, you're going to want to remove these four Phillips screws. After that, you may want to remove this dense foam piece that's adhered onto the frame of the laptop. It might get in the way of trying to get the trackpad out. So just gently pry that out, put it aside, and everything should look like this. Four screws removed, ribbon removed, and this dense foam piece removed. Now this trackpad is ready to be taken out. Next step, open up the laptop. And then, actually, you're going to want to place a tissue right here to protect this area of the screen when this is removed. Because we're going to be working around this area and we do not want to scratch the screen. Alright, so to remove it, place your hand underneath and press up against it right here. It should be stuck on not too tight, but mine is already loose. So you just press up. And once that's up, the bottom part right here is not connected to anything. So just go ahead and remove that. So here is the trackpad. This is the front side view. 
and of course you won't be seeing these holes because it's tucked underneath there when it's installed so basically how this works is very simple the click is right here and you might not want to do that because you always risk damaging it using it the wrong way but that's basically how it works and the reason why it feels loose is because when you lift this up you want to lift it up in the center not on the side because you don't want to risk damaging the hinges so lift it up you can see that right there that little circle on the frame try to get a zoom here I mean uh, focus there we go that is what will press against this the clicker so there's a gap between those two and basically you want to fill that gap and the problem will be fixed so what I found really good was use some electrical tape um, all that I needed was only one small square one piece of tape thickness no needed to uh, stack them up and you can see on the side here some uh, that's some captain tape which didn't work too well because it was too thin so this is perfect so what I did was get a piece placed it dead on the center right on top secure it in place and then basically install everything back and test how it works so you're just gonna want to screw in the four screws snugly and then you're gonna want to open up the laptop back up and here's the important part you cannot just open it up and test it just like that because there's when it's sitting right side up there's gonna be gravity pulling the trackpad down and that might affect whether it actually reaches to the end or not so let me put it right side up okay you know what maybe it's not required so I didn't securely uh, put oh should it drop <laughs> I didn't secure the screws yet but you should be able to test with every trial to make sure that one piece of tape is enough for you keeping in mind that there is a protective tissue there so in case this thing drops onto it it will still be protected you might want to layer it with many more pieces but this is fine for me and once you determine the thickness then um, you can just install everything back together but um, what you don't want to do is put too much tape there because if you open it back up if you put too much it will end up pushing the trackpad out and it will not sit flush along with the carbon fiber base it will sit out just like that and it won't feel great so just make sure you tailor everything to best fit your needs and secure everything back together to put everything back together it's just basically the reverse of the procedures that's just done and there we go you will have a very snug and snappy trackpad after this fix and this will last forever unless you click like a thousand million times a day which will wear out that electrical tape but you can always whenever you don't like it do it over or you can use a stronger piece of tape and um, this definitely works works very well now if you really enjoyed this video or it helped you out a lot I would really appreciate a thumbs up because I would know that it helped you and it would encourage me to do more helpful videos in the future enjoy the Dell XPS 13 and have a great day.